Is it just me or is everybody's fucking YouTube feed like flooded with daily vlogs from people doing vlogmas? Vlogmas. Here's my gift to you. I'm going to fucking vlogmas for you every damn day for 30 days. I'm sure that's what you all wanted for Christmas, right? Shit. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to do that because I am afraid of commitment and that is just too high of a level of commitment for me. Um, it was a post I made about, I, I had seen the documentary. We watched the documentary last night. It's called Racing Extinction. It's really good. It's about how basically everything on the planet's going extinct and it's because of us. It's really hard to face, right? It's really hard to just be like, okay, I'm doing something that is fucking way uncool, okay? Way uncool. I'm fucking shit up, you know? I could just as easily eat fucking uh, tofurkey bacon or whatever the fuck that shit is. I could just as easily eat that or I could just, you know, eat a fucking piece of fruit or have a dang smoothie or whatever instead of eating chicken periods and steaks and stuff like that. Remember when mullets were in? I had a mullet when I was little. I'm gonna have my mom send me a picture of me with a mullet so I can show you guys. But anyway, if mullets make a comeback, I'm in. So anyway, I don't really know what the fuck the point of this video is. Uh, child support. Why I don't pay a fucking cent child support, but... <laughs> I'm very lucky. I look at the cost now of children. It's a fucking joke, man. Every year in Australia it goes up a couple of thousand bucks to raise kids. If you know, if you can't talk to your partner about things that are important to you, you don't have a relationship or you're just a gutless fuck. And I, I would say to these girls, oh, you know, like, I don't want to have kids, you know. And like, yeah, well, so I'll just move out. Anyway, so I was getting back to it. So child support, fuck it, I don't pay it because I had a vasectomy and I got out of that. So you got to be clear cut, guys, what you want. And a vasectomy, man, fucking, I rate it. This is a fact, you're never going to have to pay child support ever again in your life. Hey, this is Angie. And I'm Ryan. And we are Happy, Happy Healthy, Healthy Vegan. Vegan. Oh, in particular, we're going to talk about the vasectomy he oh. just got. And um, I was reading through the comments on his video. And oh, no. sure enough, I mean, yeah, he's got people who support him and think it's a cool idea. But there's all these people that just think it's the most horrible idea. He's ruined his life. Oh. Yeah, a lot of people are pretty... Um, like us, like we, I knew from you know, when I was his age that I probably didn't want to have a bunch of kids or any kids. That's what people say, you're a young man now, what if you change your mind later mm -hmm. on? Well, if he's anything like I am, I knew I didn't want to have kids and here I'm now at 48, no kids. Mm -hmm. Plan worked. I never really changed from that idea. I, I see these comments sometimes on YouTube. How come all the vegans are getting beside to me? And, I, you know, kudos to the people that want to be mothers and fathers. Yeah, big but time. But not everyone wants to. And, you know, the way that the population is, I don't think that everyone needs to. Oh my god. Is this my book? <laughs> it's a real book. <laughs> Do you love it? I really love it. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. Hey guys, just walking the dogs in the rain here. Kind of a gloomy Friday morning. Um, it's been 42 days now since Ellie passed. I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on that. It's weird, I think when, you, when you're talking to a camera, it's like you're by yourself, you know? <laughs> you never really think about the fact that thousands of people watch this stuff, so. People I'm not even aware that watch my videos tell me they watch my videos. So it's a little weird still, but I put it out there nonetheless because the feedback's been amazing. So sometimes you're gonna see real raw stuff when uh, tragedy happens in someone's life when they put it out on social media. And that happened to me 42 days ago, October 30th, Ellie. Ellie was run over and died and uh, felt like my world ended, you know? She was like my everything, she was my baby. 